Hello Gearheads, this is JJ with Gear Report bringing you another update uh, with the 22 Long Rifle series. We are still talking a little bit about the 1022 rifles uh, you guys will see on our site. Uh, we have several of them already reviewed. Today is one of those other companies that manufacture products to customize your 1022 rifles or pistols. So we're talking about the 1022 and the Charger, both versions. Uh, these products come from Adaptive Tactical. They have uh, sent us uh, two uh, things for review. Uh, we have rifle stock, the Charger stock, and we also have their two replacement barrels. And uh, we are talking about the takedown models of both the rifle and the Charger. So over here, as you see, I have my standard uh, takedown uh, 1022 rifle. And also we have an independent pistol receiver with the second assembly that goes under the barrel that holds the pin so you can take the rifle apart. So we're gonna go through the conversion uh, of both items. Since we don't have a barrel or a stock for the original pistol receiver, we are just going to uh, utilize their charger barrel that they have sent and their stock. And we will also, uh, we will actually go through the whole conversion of your uh, takedown rifle into the stock which in the end, it's the same conversion that you would have to do for the charger pistol because the receiver and barrels are interchangeable. Of course, you make sure you go through the legal guidelines. You cannot convert a rifle receiver into a pistol receiver, but you can put a long barrel on a pistol receiver. That's why we have the rifle, the rifle, a complete rifle, and we have the pistol receiver by itself. Um, that's how we acquired it so we could do this uh, build. We're going to go through the whole process. The conversion is pretty easy. Everybody knows that 1022s tend to be one of the most customized rifles that are out there. They've been manufacturing for about 65 years. So there's plenty of companies that uh, create stocks, uh, triggers, uh, barrels, um, and a whole bunch of different um, accessories that you can put on the rifles. So we're going to go through the conversion. Like I said, we're going to utilize Adaptive Tacticals uh, stock. Uh, this is a takedown stock and uh, you guys, as you guys have seen it, it gives you a telescoping uh, stock on it, um, a little bit more tactical. We're going to go through it real quick. Don't forget guys, make sure that you go through your Ruger take, uh, 1022 manual so you know what you're doing. But this uh, exchange is pretty straightforward. You're going to undo the two takedown uh, bolts from both the forearm and the receiver um, part. Remember to put your safety halfway so you can remove that receiver from the stock. Uh, you are going to have to take your takedown screw out from your uh, receiver stock uh, because you're gonna reuse that with the uh, next uh, portion of the build, okay? Same thing with the forearm take down screw, you're going to utilize it. Um, of course this one has also the ring, the barrel ring that you have to loosen up and to be able to take it apart. And there are a couple of items that you need to be aware of. Um, if you don't have a target uh, version of the 1022 or the bull barrel version there is an insert that you need to remove because ours is the standard takedown stainless steel barrel we don't need to take that uh, insert uh, from it so first part of the conversion is really easy <laughs> if you're going to slide that barrel receiver in and you're just going to Tighten up that bolt, the receiver bolt. So remember you're dealing, you're dealing with uh, polymer components, so you don't have to over tighten it. Just make sure that it's nice and snug, but not over tightened. So that's the first part of the conversion. <laughs> really straightforward, incredibly easy. So now we're gonna go through the second portion, the receiver. Remember, make sure that that safety is halfway so you can slide the action through. There it is. And you're going to tighten up 
to take down both. Again, you're dealing with polymers. Make sure you don't over tighten it. You don't want to break your stock. You don't want to mess it up. Okay? You make sure it's nice and snug. The trigger guard should be all the way against the, the grip uh, receiver. And guys, that's it. <laughs> really, can the conversion be any simpler? There you go. That's an incredibly fast. Like you see, this stock has the telescope and stock, and stock, and uh, it has a pretty beefy uh, butt pad on it, uh, like a recoil pad. And um, of course, 22 long rifle <laughs> doesn't really kick, but um, having that rubberish uh, compound. Um, butt pad right there it makes your rifle really nice and comfortable against your shoulder guys that's incredibly simple um, <laughs> right away you already see a drastic visual change um, from your standard 1022 now we're going to do another thing they have uh, adaptive tactical has provided us uh, their tack hammer uh, barrel for the takedown uh, rifle so we're going to go through that conversion also, which is pretty much just a straightforward. There's just a couple of components from the barrel that we need to remove in order to tr uh, transfer them to the uh, tack hammer barrel. So here we go. There we see this part. Now in this instance, we are going to have to remove that insert that they have so you can utilize a bull barrel. It's just one Phillip, Phillips head screw that you have to remove from there and you will see the attachment right here. This is what makes your pencil barrel or your standard barrel fit. And uh, with this removed, now you have the diameter needed for the uh, 0 0.920 uh, inches uh, barrel, which is your uh, standard um, bull barrel. So here you have it. This is Adaptic Tacticals um, RCB22. It's the rigid core post tension barrel for the Ruger 1022. You are able to take this um, off uh, by unscrewing it, and it has the standard half by 28 uh, thread so you can use uh, any other kind of muscle attachment muscle brake attachment compensator or suppressor if you would like it's uh like the new takedown light that ruger is manufacturing it's a post tension so it's a thinner barrel on the inside uh, covered with it's, it's either a titanium or an aluminum tube okay that makes your post tension on the barrel and everybody knows that one of the complaints from the takedown barrels is that the scope is attached to the receiver and the barrel is mounted onto the receiver but there's a tensioning uh, nut on it or tensioning ring that if the barrel is ever wiggly or a little bit loose you will not get the accuracy that you would expect from a rifle from a 22 rifle especially so uh, tack hammer uh, barrels what they have done and uh, this is what adapted tactical sales uh, the tack hammer barrels what they do is they can lever the scope mount from the barrel itself that way regardless of the action and the receiver and the barrel having a little bit of play your scope is always going to be aligned with your barrel so that's definitely an added bonus that's uh, one of the things that many people are critical about and i believe that this barrel takes care of that problem we are going to have to test uh, we're going to go test this out in the field uh, see how the accuracy goes but I'm pretty confident it's going to be pretty good. Now, the, the other thing that you need to do in order to um, utilize the tack hammer uh, barrel is you're going to have to eliminate or take this uh, receiving portion of the barrel. And it has a pin over here that you, you just uh, you pull it out. But make sure you hold the other pin out. There it is. So there it is. It's... It's got three components to it. It's got a spring and two pins, and of, and of course the post, the post that you utilize to take down the barrel. And there's two Allen uh, screws in here um, that you need to take off in order to make your conversion. And it's 
pretty easy. So the first one off, second one off. So there's, took the barrel off completely. Now you're gonna go over and install this into the new barrel. Where you want to over tighten it. Just want to get it there. That's the first part. And you're going to go again with your spring. The first pin. The second pin. And you have to push that pin in a little bit and then install your post so you can take it apart. There it is. Now, we're going from this, and it feels it, it fits nice and tight in here, okay, guys. So make sure that it's you're not. Um, yeah, it's really nice and snug. Then you're going to tighten up your. Thing that we need to make sure since now you're utilizing the scope mount on top of the barrel you need to remove your scope rail on top of the receiver so it's easy you just gotta remove the four screws that are on top of the on top of the receiver and the rail and most of this 1022 rifles come with the the scope rail in the package. There it is. Once you take that off, remember you can always go back and put your plugs that, that comes with come with the receiver also whenever you take this apart. You see it here. Full conversion to the tack hammer and the uh, um, adaptive tactical stock uh, and remember you can find both uh, items the tack hammer and the um, stock on adaptive tacticals website so guys that makes for a really nice nice 1022 well that conversion wasn't too painful at all both going to this from the standard uh, 1022 to the uh, just uh, stock replacement and even going through the barrel replacement to the bull barrel replacement for the adaptive tactical stock it's really not painful at all it's just a couple of screws in so, such an easy conversion we're going to uh, test this out to see how the accuracy goes with the uh, these barrels and um, see how they function So that's it for now. Let me know what questions you have. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, you know, take care of us in social media and we'll take care of you by continuing to bring really good high quality reviews that you can trust. We're going to help you figure out what's worth spending your money on and what you probably shouldn't. We'll see you at the range.